Hello, so in this one let's talk about Chaos Stars and Charms and Blessings in general and how to approach those in the early game. So basically the main idea is when you start doing your first Chaos Stars, what you're looking for is not the stats that you're gonna roll on your Chaos Star, it's only the Blessing part. Cause the blessing parts themselves are actually giving more damage than than your stats that you roll on on your chaos star. So for example, I'm running Alyssa Leo Hamal. I'm running those because my main skill has area effect tag, has projectile tag, and has physical and poison tags. It has two elemental times because I'm converting to physical damage. So basically, I'm only benefiting from physical damage amplification. So with that in mind, I have Alyssa, which gives me area damage amplification. I have Lower that gives me projectile damage amplification. And I have Hamal that gives me physical damage amplification. So with that in mind, whenever you get your first Chaos Star, what you're looking for, for example, you're going to get in the ads tier 3 Chaos, Chaos Orb and tier 4 Chaos Orb. So what you're looking for early is not what you roll on your Chaos Star. And by the way, what you roll on your Chaos Star depends on your charms. So for example, if you if I do something like this, what I'm going to get on my Chaos Star is going to depend on the charms that I use on those affixes. So I could get critical damage taken dampen in HP. I could get mana chill rate elemental resist. I could get sentry critical rate, damage when dual wielding, minion critical rate, and so on. But early into the game, it doesn't matter. What you want to do, you want to pick up one type of your blessing type. For example, if you're doing physical damage, you can go just for Hamal. And you want to use every single Hamal charm that you have on your first Chaos Star. Because that's going to give you the most amount of blessing that you need immediately. So whenever you craft that, you start working towards your Hamal Blessing. Only Hamal Blessing. You only use basically Hamal Champs until you hit 140%. Because, as I said, that 140% Blessing effect is going to be better than the Champs that you are using if you are into the early game. After you get higher tier higher tier chaos orbs and those you can get in tier 10 maps in tier 10 maps you can drop up to tier 7 in tier 11 maps those are the um oh it doesn't work i'm talking about um, authority maps tier 11 authority maps so greater cards in those you can drop up to tier 8 but it's really low chance and tier 9s you can drop in, uh, I don't have a single map of that, it's in Serpent's map. It's called Domain of Might. In this one, you can drop up to tier 9. So, whenever you start dropping higher tier orbs, you're going to be able to get more than one blessing. And you can work towards more than one blessing and then you need to start mixing up your uh, charms so for example you could go Alyssa three Alyssas and in my case it would be three Boreals right can I even do that something like this right so you start mixing but you always you always aim for one, at least 140% early into the game, because that's the biggest damage you can get. So basically, this is how you approach your Chaos Star crafting. So basically, to sum it up, don't look, don't try to craft really good stats. That means don't use, don't try to use like every single charm with like critical rate, critical damage affixes. You can use any charms as long as you craft that Chaos Orb and you get that blessing effect because there is another problem whenever you try to enchant the charms it's really hard to enchant a charm to like tier 7 or tier 8 because what happens the most 
I can show you that right now. For example, let's say this is a good charm, right? And you go to upgrade page and you start upgrading the charm. And sometimes what could have, what could happen is that instead you want like tier eight and it rolls to tier nine because tier nine is max tier that you can get and you skip the tier eight. That's why people don't craft good tier sevens, tier eight and tier sixes scale orbs. Only tier nines, because it's sometimes it's just impossible to craft one because you're gonna waste so many mats. So that's the main idea. But there is another thing that is charm slot upgrades. B basically, without charm slot upgrades, you won't be able to get that much blessing effect. So what you're looking for, as you can see, my crafted chaos star has 96 and 48%. But when I apply the Chaos or Blessing effect, 140%, it becomes 230, 115. So what you need to work on, you really want to get familiar with this charm upgrade slots. So the main idea is you want to start upgrading your Chaos or Blessing effect. There is two UIs, one for charms, one for Chaos Orb. So this is what you're aiming for early. You want to level up to it to max level and then there is level effect, max level effect, which means at level 10, which is my right now, and total level. Total level means all of the chaos or possible upgrades, possible upgrade slots. So as you can see, I have 6, 5, 5, 5 to hit that f total level 30. Keep that in mind because that 15% is really important one. After that, you can use something like this, Blessing Effect plus 15, 115, I have it applied to my Hamal Charm, as you can see it's 32, but plus 115 is 72, basically twice as much, right? Without this, it's gonna be really hard to achieve your Blessing, eff blessing Effect that you want to. And there is more of those, right? There is some legendary ones that give you extra Blessing Effect again, Blessing effect again. You really want to get those early because those are gonna help you to reach that blessing effect breakpoint basically. After that, so let's say you crafted your tier 9 Kia star. You start working towards your blessings, you have your blessing effects, and only then I suggest to start looking for big, good charm upgrades. It's gonna be much easier that way. As you can see, I'm still, some of my charms are actually not that good, right? This one is really good. This one is, is decent. This one is decent, but this one is kinda meh. And that's basically an example. Because first of all, what I'm looking for is the blessing effects and then I start working towards my charms. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you might get your good charms really early into the game. That's good, right? But I wasn't that lucky, so I just picked up whatever I have so I could hit the blessing effect and get that free damage earlier. So basically that would be the explanation for the chaos orbs and charms and how to approach those. So I, I hope this is helpful, GDs, have fun. Uh, by the way, that Domain of Serpents map, the one that they showed you, this one, it drops tier 8 basically on every single run. When you start doing this map, tier 8 Chaos Orb, you're gonna get it on the first map basically, if you do it at a little bit higher level. Tier 9s are still kind of hard to drop, you need to do like level 160, but when you start doing level 160s, they start dropping a lot too. So my last piece of advice, do not hold back your Chaos Orbs, just keep crafting, keep, keep actually playing the game instead of hoarding stuff, this is not how it works. And they got disconnect, yeah. So GG's, have fun, and I hope this was helpful. And see you in the next one.